And just a quick video to show you how you can change the icon on your .studio files so that you can see a little bit about what your file looks like. So I've got a studio file here. And the first thing I'm going to do is going to save a screen capture to my clipboard. And the way I'm going to do this is put my cursor up towards the upper left hand corner of where I want my screenshot and then I'm going to press shift, control, command, and the number four. And that's a little tricky so you can use two hands and then let go once you see that crosshair cursor up there. Alright, then I'm going to drag my picture and I know my icon needs to be a square so I'm kind of trying to drag a square but I want as much of the image as I can so something like that and I'm going to let go. Now I'm going to go to my finder where that file is stored. It's called PNC Images 1. I'm going to press Command I to get the Get Info window. Then up here where I see the icon, I'm going to click that and I'm going to go Control V to paste my new icon there. And you'll see the new icon there and then under the preview here I have the new icon. Now all I have to do is close it. So now if I'm going through these files in my finder if I click on the space bar to do a quick view, I get the preview. And also in your other views, you see the uh, preview image. Cover flow, etc. So that's all there is to it to change your files. Now it's not automatic so if you change the file you need to go back and change the screen capture manually. So it's not perfect but if you want to have an idea of what some of your files look like from the icon this is a way to do it. Let me show you one other trick if I just have a blank mat. If I take an icon and drag it to the mat I can see what the file looks like before I open it. I don't have to let it go. This only works on DE, I believe. But this is another way to preview files quickly from a folder. You notice how I'm just dragging it, holding it over till it shows, and then I just drag it back if I don't want to open it. So, so this is a quick way to go through your files and find what you want Okay, so two ways to find out what's on your studio files without having to put them in the library. Thanks for watching.